Welcome back, folks. Now, 9.18 test servers have broke yet again. So this time around, a lot of players trying to log on to the test servers to try out the big three revamps. So the artillery, the light tanks, and the matchmaker all got reworked. But the numbers of players trying to get onto the test servers greatly exceeded expectations. So the usual capacity for the test server is around 20,000 or so. The sandbox is around 5,000-ish. But here is a screenshot of 463,347 positioned in the queue. That's a lot of players. So as you can see, this patch is pretty important. This patch is pretty huge. And a lot of players are looking forward to testing out a lot of the stuff on the test server. But they met a queue wall for it so uh, this patch is gaining popularity or importance but i do have a very small problem with this patch just because it's that huge and that problem is there is no patch notes for the north american server the eu or the asian servers we don't get a full list of all the specific changes the nerfs the buffs to all the vehicles Wargaming adjusted in this patch. So, where is the specific detailing of all the artillery nerfs or all the light tank changes? All we got is a summary of art artillery got nerfed, light tanks got moved, new matchmaker. Enjoy! <laughs> what? So, I looked to the Russian server and I crudely translated all the stuff. So, they do have a specific Patch, serv patch server, patch notes for the test server. So at the bottom, there is a list of all the HD remodels. And behind it is the list of all the vehicles that got changed. So originally, I thought it was a wall of text for all the artilleries that got nerfed. And that was it. But there were a few smaller surprises within. So today we'll go through the translated list of all the patch notes and three vehicles that received some sort of buff, slight armor buff from the HD remodel from SD. So let's get started with the armor buffs from the HD remodel. Here is the A44, 9.18 is at the left, 9.17.1 is at the right. So as you can see, the original A44 has a 120 millimeter matlet. Now, it's nerfed. <laughs> Surprisingly, the mantlet got nerfed to 90 millimeter. But if you look closely, there is actually armor underneath the mantlet now of 75 millimeter. So it's actually stronger than only 120 millimeter total for the mantlet because there's no armor underneath for the A44. So small detail, but. Yeah, there is actually armor underneath the mantlet. And it's a little bit thicker now because of the combination of the mantlet plus the armor underneath. But basically, just shoot the cupola and you'll penetrate or shoot the side armor because side armor's crap. So, 60mm, yeah, that's crap. Or shoot the lower plate. But you also have a larger strip of 150. So, it doesn't cover up the. Road wheel mantlet, the uh, road wheel mantlet, road wheel support for this strip. So, yeah. A44 niche of a vehicle, but small buff. Very small. And let's take a look at the big brother to the A44, the 430, version number two. And this vehicle is like a big flat pan, I guess. So, frying pan. Compared to the tier 8, it's a little bit more annoying because the gun firing high explosive anti tank. But as you can see, originally for this vehicle, it has 130 millimeter for the cupola, the two cupolas for the commander and the loader. But now it's been buffed to 248 with a bigger base, I guess. It's 
well, 248 as well for the base, but originally it's 110. So why do I say that this is a buff? Well, this vehicle is very flat. A lot of aggressive object for 30 version number two players will face hug against mouses or E100s. And those vehicles don't have enough gun depression to shoot at the hull. So they only have the turret to shoot at. And normally you will shoot at the cupola to pin. So sometimes you will pin, but sometimes it will bounce based on the sloping. But now it's 248 millimeter thick and rounded. So the only way of penetrating this vehicle, if it face hug you and you don't have that much gun depression to shoot at the hull, is trying to overmatch the turret top and the turret roof. And that's, yeah, that is a buff, but that's mostly for aggressive, very aggressive object for 30 players, version number two players. So, all right, small detail, but here is the biggest buff from the HD remodel, and that is the pay to win BTSV. So this tier three speed devil of a light tank that costs around 100 bucks has been buffed because the space armor at the sides increased to cover up the side armor. So here you can see the side armor is 20 millimeter. Now it's only six millimeter with 20 millimeter of space armor. And you also have 10 millimeter of space armor for the tracks at some point. So it's a bunch of layers of space armor. <laughs> That's pretty good. And the radio operators hatch thing right here was originally 20 millimeter. Now it's uniform at 25. So that's a buff. <laughs> so basically auto cannons like 7.92 millimeters, the Mauser machine gun, or some of the smaller calibers like 20 millimeters might be a big weak, super weak against the space armor as well as the sloping of this vehicle. So yeah, that's the biggest HD buff. I mean, it's not as big. Well, that's yet to be proven because the rarity of this vehicle, but I don't think it's that much stronger than the 112 or the IS-6 HD buff or the Conqueror or the M103 because back then, the HD remodel of the M103 and the Conqueror were huge. They actually had turret armor now, but yeah, that's long ago in the past. So yeah, let's take a look at how it looks. So here is the BST SV in HD. Here is the original SD version. Load up. So yeah, no more weak spot for the radio operator and a big old space armor plate for the sides. That's pretty good. So now let's take a look at the patch notes for 9.18 and it's a pretty long list. I'll try to skim through it, mostly skipping the artilleries because we know about artillery. But if you want to read all the patch notes, I'll post this thing on the forums. I'll put the link in the description below. So let's get started. The Crusader has been marked as a medium tank now, rather than a light tank. So no more niche light tank personal objectives, personal missions, completion with this vehicle. So some of the missions requires you to constantly shoot tracks and destroy them while your teammates help you out by destroying them in light tanks. You could do that a lot better with the Crusader because the rapid firing gun and the medium tank status of more HP and better matchmaking, but now it's a medium tank. So small niche, I guess, small advantage. AT-8 has better gun elevation by 0 0.5 degrees. Not much. Seven degrees of gun elevation is crap. 7.5 is also crap, but uh, it would need all the help it gets, it could get, so. Eh, okay. The British artilleries, alright. Basically, high explosive rounds got nerfed by almost 
or around 50%. View range got nerfed from 300 or so to 260 or so. So the average now is about 265 for the view range across the board from tier 2 to tier 10. So basically, artilleries have the same view range as tier 3 vehicles across the board. <laughs> so they're blind and the higher up artilleries are large with no camo. So they'll be spotted, but yeah, view range got nerfed. Penetration for the high explosive got nerfed. Removal of the AP shells, yada yada. All right, skimming, skimming. Better spread for the Crusader by a little bit. Reload time is a little bit better. There's no reload boost to the FE-304. Damn it. <laughs> I wish it fires a little bit faster, but that would go back to the pre-9.2 or 9.1 days with the KV-1S and the old Hellcat. Those were the big three bosses of tier 6, but oh well. So gun dispersion is a little bit better. Reload is a little bit better. No more big alpha for the high tier British artilleries. All right. So you can pause the video to skim through all the stuff, but it's mostly the nerfs that you probably already realize for all these vehicles. So yada yada. Okay. Germany. They added the Romtail Panzer Wagon, the Spie Panzer 57, and the HWK 12 at tier 8. So the tier 5 Leopard added a 30mm, 50mm new engine. Alright, removed two guns, so basically modified the guns. A little bit better at some stuff, some of the stats, I believe. The cost of running study. So less XP, alright. What the hell is this thing? I don't know. Gun dispersion on the movement reduced. So it's a crude translation. I apologize, but there is no global, you know, <laughs> patch notes. So I make do with what I can. But view range got reduced. It's at tier 5 against tier 7 only now. So no more tier 8s. So obviously there will be a few nerfs. Coil. What the hell is this thing? Is that the tracks? I think that's the tracks. Durability from the turret. Less health. Alright. You could put a ver vertical stabilizer on this thing. Why would you? It's only tier f f Or it's Mark 1. But then again, it's a Mark 1 vertical stabilizer. That's 250,000. Wait. Yeah, that's 250,000. That's a lot. For a tier 5 medium? Tier 5 medium. Tier 5 light? Uh, not really worth. Alright. Better to put coated optics or something. Added the same old guns. Removed the original guns. I think better penetration or something. But gun they didn't list the full gun stats. So gun dispersion is a little bit better. Research cost increased by a little bit. Reduce the top speed by 4 km per hour. Increase engine power. That's good. And vertical stabilizer. Alright. The Spie Panzer SP-1C. Reload. Got in uh, increased. Alright. Remove instrument. I think they removed the auto-loading gun for the SP-1C. Reload gun increase. Reload increase. Yeah. That's a nerf. Projectile penetration reduced from 250 to 210. That's the high explosive anti tank, right? Yeah, that's the high explosive anti tank shell. That got removed or reduced. Reduced, reduced, reduced. It's a bunch of nerfs. Okay. Instrument change from tier 7 to tier 6. Yada, yada, yada. Wait. It's. What's the tier 7 now? Wait, HWK. Wait, 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 wait. The VK2001. What the? Oh, that's the. That's the tracks or something. That's not the vehicle. SP1C is still tier 7. That's just one part of the equipment. That scared me a little bit. Alright. <laughs> More engine power. That's good. So, engine boost. 
but they removed the damage a little bit. Okay. Added the shell, remove projectiles, so change a bunch of stuff. Increase the cost of running the vehicle. So more cost, more XP to research, view range increased. It's at tier 9 now, obviously. So engine power increased oh, a lot, 600 to 900. So big boost, but XP increased, health increased to 1,400. Okay, so... Oh, yield. This is a special one. This is the amount of credits you get per match. So that's the profitability of the vehicle. It got reduced. All right. Cost of repairs increased by 17%. Maximum forward velocity. That's top speed. From 80 to 70 kilometers per hour. So the speed got re uh, reduced. Huh. That sucks. View range increased. It's not as fast. But 70 is still pretty fast. And here are the German artilleries. So same goes for the British. Remove the AP shells, high explosive anti-tank shells, and nerf the penetration, nerf the view range, yada yada. All right. Added stun to some of them with 150 millimeter gun. So if they have 150 millimeter plus gun, some of you already mentioned this. I did not know about it, but if it is 150 millimeter plus artillery guns they will have a stun effect so any guns below that doesn't have it like the fe304 so that's good to know but dispersion got buffed for the higher tiers yada yada aim time traverse speed reduced okay it's slower to turn now <laughs> as well oh man damage got reduced yada yada my favorite the gw panther Originally, the Dracula before the HD remodel sucks. <laughs> they removed the back panel from the gun shield. I hate it. It was the cape. Aim time got a little bit better. Penetration got reduced. Range cover decreased from... Oh, that's the view range. Duh. Translation. Russian translation is so crude. You have to guess. So added stun effect. All right. Remove the high explosive anti tank, yada yada, better dispersion, okay. GW Tiger P. Does it go faster? That's all I wonder about. Do you increase the engine power? Because this thing is super slow. No, it doesn't get engine power boost, so it will still be just as slow. <laughs> that sucks. Alright, on to the GW Tiger, blah 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 blah, range cover, that's the view range. And it's a larger vehicle with bigger stun. Same goes for the GW E100. All right, as expected. Chinese vehicles added the WZ132s, Dash One and A. What? WZ120. More experience needed to research this vehicle. I think from the Tier Eight light tank into the Tier Nine medium. It's probably the same for the. T34-2 at tier 8. So it requires more experience now to research a medium tank from a light tank. The more you know. Okay. 59 minus 16. The 43. They removed the autoloader for the 76 millimeter. That sucks. It was the only autoloader with the ability to get rammer for the tank. It doesn't have the penetration. The penetration suck ass. But, oh man, that sucks. Gun dispersion better. Alright, reload increased. Time increased. So, nerf to the DPM. Okay, cost of engine. More research XP cost. Oh man. More probability of engine fires. Slightly more health. Alright. That sucks. Remove the autoloader from the WZ131. Oh man. So they do get some nerfs to the aim time and the reload for the vehicles, the light tanks, that doesn't change a tier. So because of the new matchmaking. But some of them received a better engine power. 
So it's like 430 to 450. So there are a few compensation for the mobility of the vehicle, but they reduce the DPM output of these vehicles as well. So that's the trend for WZ132. Shell removed, shell replaced, dispersion, range. They reduce the view range. Yeah. Increase the research cost. Right, interesting. So durability increased, cost increased. So, or XP cost. So basically, researching light tanks at a higher tier means it's like researching artillery. You need more XP. Wow, that sucks. All right, for the Russians, LTG, T100 light tank, yada yada. T50 posted 45 millimeter cannon, added more stuff, remove other stuff. Run, 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 changing credits. I'm trying to glance through all of these. View range increased. Wow, that's a lot of view range. It changed from tier 4 to tier 5 now. The T50 is tier 5. Wow. More XP, a lot more XP to research the vehicle. Oh man, okay. Uh, so we got bump up a tier. Add the ability to put medium caliber gun rammer and vertical stabilizer. And wow, T50 is bumped up. What's at tier 4 now? A medium? Uh, Alright. The Dumb Beetle, the MT25. Added more weapons. Deleted the turret. Deleted a bunch of old stuff. Gun dispersion, maximum. Top speed got nerfed. <laughs> Damn it! Health got changed. So some of the buffs, some of the buffs are HP and top or engine power, top engine power. But the top speed got reduced for most of them. The LTTB is at tier eight. So dispersion, blah 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 blah. Taking a look at all the stuff, percent yield. That's the profitability got reduced. Wow. Increased cost of repairs. Five degrees of gun depression now. Yes, that's pretty good. So the long barrel 85 on the LTTB was good. It has some good penetration, but the biggest problem is the three degrees of gun depression means it sucks at haul down. Really terrible. So the only way of getting around this is shooting at same level opponents while you're circle strafing. But uh, now it has 5 degrees of gun depression. That's a big one. Alright. Hmm, profitability, engine changed. More credit cost. Yep. Crust. Health. Vertical stabilizer. More horsepower. That's good. You rev up faster. But it's at tier, well, the same matchmaking. Doesn't matter. It's just a higher tier. Higher tier. Hmm. T54 lightweight. Changes engine, remove engine, cost, view range increase, it's at tier 9 now. Re uh, better increase to the reverse speed, reverse top speed. Mm, the blah, 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 change and change, more credit cost, cost of lightweight increased. I'm sorry if I'm boring you, but this is the first time I'm looking at it. They increased the engine power from 520 to 800. So... This will become a little bit more like the T100 light tank. So this will, the T54 lightweight will become a lot faster because of this higher engine power. But uh, interesting. And the Russian artilleries. So remove the shells, remove the penetration, remove the alpha. If it's 150 millimeter plus, it gets a splash stun effect. Better aim time, better scatter ish or yeah what am i thinking about dispersion yeah <laughs> scatter it's dispersion so penetration alpha yada yada the same old stuff view range got removed uh, it's blind doesn't matter view range view range none of these vehicles are faster none <laughs> especially the german the large german gw tigers freaking slow <laughs> Game time, all the same stuff, yada yada, yada yada, yada yada. Alright, same stuff, doesn't turn faster. Aiming is a little bit faster, but that is stun. 
it's only 180 on the object 261, whereas previously it's 203, so less splash. Americans, the M7 medium tank has become a light tank to ensure better training of the crew, I guess. So change a bunch of stuff, remove engine, aim time increase, reload time increase, durability got decreased, stabilizer mark 1. So all light tanks could now fit vertical stabilizer, whereas the medium tanks could only fit the vertical stabilizer at tier 6 for the Americans, tier 7 for the British, and the rest for tier 8. So they will have the ability to shoot on the move a lot better than the medium tank counterparts because the lack of or the addition of vertical stabilizer for them and the lack of that equipment for medium tanks. So that is a big deal. So if you plan on playing medium tanks, it's not as effective shooting on the move as light tanks because of this equipment. Interesting. All right, Chafee. Gun dispersion on the move, better. Durability got decreased. Slower now. <laughs> that sucks. Less view range. Poo. T21. More XP needed. Uh, motion <laughs> difference not that much. Okay. Yeah, okay, small stuff. T37. Did it did a bunch of stuff. Slightly better dispersion. Nope. Not really. That's worse dispersion. Alright. <laughs> Penetration. Decreased. Oh no. More engine power. Less health. And ability to install gun rammer. Okay. T71. So the T71 is the unified tier 7. So there is no T92 light tank filling in the gap for the space at the Walker Bulldog. The M41, so the T71 is the well I should been I should have been looking at the freaking <laughs> tech tree. Sam you nub. Alright, so let's take a look at the tech tree for the Americans. So here you can see the T71 is the unified middle ground from the T21 and the T37. So there is no T92 light tank. Sad to say. So you have to play the T71. A lot to get to the T69. So there is no M41 Walker Bulldog into the T69 or other way around. So it's like the batch at 12T. If you don't like the T71, you're not getting the T57 heavy. <laughs> you're, you're not. So the Bulldog will keep the autoloader. Chass chassis cost. Oof. Running cost. It's a higher tier, so. Yield decreased, blah 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 blah. Durability, gun rammer. What? It still has the auto loader, right? No way! You can put a gun rammer now? No way! Where's the auto loader? Don't bullshit me. <laughs> you said we can keep the auto loader. You promised us! 75mm, it's a gun. No! Oh, it's still there. Thank God. So you could actually put a gun rammer with the autoloader for the Walker Bulldog now to help with the DPM. But if you don't have it, how the hell do I remove it? Remove. Well, it's not that much. Well, it's four seconds. That's still pretty huge. But yeah, put a gun rammer. You can now put a gun rammer on the Walker Bulldog. Yeah, that's okay. That's good. Holy crap, horsepower per time ratio is awesome. So, yeah. Interesting. That's a big stuff. More health, more durability. I mean, some of the stuff got nerfed. Like, the XP cost. More XP cost, but... Eh, it's a whole different vehicle. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. So... I do wish they put the actual translated patch notes, like official patch notes, rather than I'm going through translating patch notes from the Russian server. But T49 will keep the derp gun. View range increased. Uh-huh. 
It's a tier 9. Cost. More cost. More health. Research. More cost. Yada yada. Alright. Scatter of the guns. Reduced. So, this thing is more accurate now. Hmm. Increase. Okay, interesting. Increase, decrease. Alright, and the American artillery, so reduce the view range, reduce the penetration, remove high explosive anti tank shells. Wow! Wowzers. And added stun effects for 150mm plus howitzers, derp guns. Alright, less view range, dispersion, reduced. So most of the vehicles, most of the artilleries will receive a dispersion or disturbance, dispersion boost from tier five and onwards. Not for the lower tier artilleries, but they don't have the stun effect. So, eh, okay. No speed boost to the traverse or the engine power. So they are still just as slow for a few of them. Eh, spread, reload. I mean, the reload is not that much, or the reduction to the reload time is not that much to compensate for the dramatic decrease for the alpha. So, it's a big nerf, obviously, but you can splash around corners like nothing before, but... Alright, AMX ELC. Now, this thing will receive a fully traversable turret, not for the 90mm, for the 75s. So if you plan on running lower penetration weapon for this vehicle, you will have a fully traversable turret. That is good. Actually, that's pretty interesting too, since the only vehicles it could face now is tier 7, not tier 8s. So you don't really need the high penetration 90mm, but uh, the DPM got reduced. <laughs> so 12 seconds to 14 seconds. Alright. Better top speed going backwards, but top speed going forwards got nerfed. Oh man, to 60 kilometers per hour. Penetration got nerfed. Yeah. Alright, fully traversable turret. Yep. Less health. And you could put a vertical stabilizer. Alright. AMX 12T, a bunch of stuff changed. Slightly better dispersion on the movement. You do have more rounds for the 75. All right. More XP cost, vertical stabilizer, less health. Okay. Traverse engine, blah, blah, blah. Vertical stabilizer, less health. More engine power. Interesting. So at higher tier light tanks, they will receive more engine power to make them faster. And if they can have a vertical stabilizer, they will be better at shooting on the move. So compared to the medium tanks of the same tier. Yada yada, so... Oh yeah, all light tanks will receive vertical stabilizer at low tiers, like tier 5 to tier 7. Whereas medium tank counterparts will not have them unless they're American at tier 6 or British at tier 7. Alright. AMX 1390. State vertical stabilizer, blah. But they already have it for high tier lights. Alright, fine. More engine power, yes, that's good. But more cost, less yield, less profitability, blah, blah, blah. And French artillery, so less penetration, less alpha, less view range, all the shebang. Yep. But you do have. A tier 4 with 155. So, slight trade off, I guess. Or tier 3. Can the tier 3 have it? Tier 3 is. Nope, they don't have. They only have 105. So, tier 5 and onwards. Wait a minute. That's. That's tier 6, Sam. What the hell am I talking about? So, tier 6 and onwards. So, view range got nerfed. Yada yada. Better aim time. Splash. Same old stuff, same shebang, they're still just as slow, actually, it's the French, they're still just as fast-ish, they're not fast as mediums, and there you go, folks, wow, that's been rough, 
So as you can see, generalization of light tanks and artillery is that artilleries will receive view range nerf, penetration nerf, and damage nerf, alpha nerf. But they will get better dispersion, faster aim time, better accuracy. So basically, they're splashing at 150 millimeter plus guns. So if you don't have a large caliber gun, you don't have the splash, but you also get the nerf as well. So don't play low tier artillery. Well, then again, it's only low tier artillery. Oh, yeah. So yeah, rough. As for light tanks, their, their focus is getting shooting on the move, active spotting or active shooting on the move with vertical stabilizer, with better engine power, less health, and some of them have more XP cost because the shift from the tiers. So the trade-off is they will be better at shooting at the shooting on the move than medium tanks of the same tier, but they have less DPM, less penetration, and more view range, and better engine power with less health. So they are faster than medium tanks, but they don't have the damage, and they don't have the health to survive. So that's a generalization, but some of the vehicles are like really out of place or some of them like the wz120 received a xp nerf so more xp needed for that vehicle and that was out of the blue probably from the research from the wz131 but it doesn't apply to t69 it's the same amount of xp from the t71 well then again it was from the t71 but the bulldog never made to the t69 so eh. I mean, I'm still disappointed about the lack of T-92 light tank, supposedly to fill in the gap. It doesn't. <laughs> so there you go, folks. My god, me reading the patch notes and talking to myself for like, what, 30 minutes? So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll post all the patch notes, the crew translated version that I have onto the forum page. So I'll put the link into the description below. And thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.